A friend of mine brought around this pressure vessel for me to turn into a rocket stove. And it's an absolute beast. It weighs like 500 pounds. And I just underestimated how thick it was because I had no real way of measuring just how solid those walls were. So I thought, well, maybe if I had a guide for the plasma cutter to ride on, that consistency might get it to pierce through, but no love. So I ended up resorting to violence to get it apart. I ended up scoring around the outside with the 9 inch grinder once I realised that I only had one disc left so that the it was actually thin enough that the plasma cutter could pierce through. I still needed to use a wedge to sort of break it finally off because it's the ultimate atomic wedgie. Oh, nuts. Nothing that a large crowbar couldn't fix though. At this point I remembered I owned an oxyacetylene kit. Unfortunately, I didn't remember to turn on the microphone, so flame cutting noises, flame cutting noises, still more flame cutting noises, and hammering. Best Welds on YouTube. With a grate and ash removal system in place, it was time to turn my attention to the roof of the burn chamber. I needed something really heavy and the perfect thing was this old whacker packer that I made a long time ago. But it, the problem was it didn't really whack or pack. But the base was good solid 10 millimeter plate. So I thought I might as well liberate it. But I'm running out of gas. And it's starting to get a little bit problematic for me to make nice cuts.
That's why you sharpen your chalk like that. So you can put it up against an edge and it helps you transfer dimensions really quite easily. The oxyacetylene is getting too low now to keep going safely. So I switch back to the plasma. With fresh consumables, it actually seemed to do a reasonable job on this 10mm. Now we bash it around with the hammer and measure the top until we get it about right. Ho oh. ho! Alright, we want to go that way and mill. We can lock one direction of movement in with a couple of tacks. This is going to be fun. Eyes. Now, I wanted to go that way. A tap. Yeah, that way. But I just went too far. One forty. Top a mill. There we go. 41. 141. That'll do. We're going to call that central. John, throw it in. It's the other side. Like a stocking on a chicken's lip. The inside plate did get fully welded. I just did it off camera just to keep things moving. You're welcome. Good old glass water. It's made from Drano and kitty litter and distilled water. My idea for tipping the glass water down the bottom was that the ceramic fiber blanket would be able to soak that up from underneath. It would sort of wick up into it. This would take the brunt of the heat and had the best temperature resistance. The top half you saw was filled with rock wool.
friend is going to be boiling a lot of water in large pots on the top of this rocket stove and he asked me if I would make a large windshield so that's what this is. I ended up calling this rocket stove Little John, for no particular reason. Six and a half hours later. Guess we're just going for it. We're not burning very cleanly, but <laughs> it's producing heat. I think I'll just let that settle down now. I, I've sort of overfueled it, but I, I did that on purpose. The smoke you're seeing coming up from the bottom is the potbelly black just cooking off. Get some water in that. So the fire has settled down a bit. We're getting clean combustion now. That 40 mil angle line is looks like quite a nice gap. I don't know if it's going to need the wind shroud, the amount of heat that this thing is producing, but anyway, it's there if it needs to be used. Better put some water in this before I get it too hot. <laughs> Well, let's see how long it takes to boil 30 litres. Must have been a bit of moisture in that insulation. Okay, we're at a rolling boil. And it's been, what's the time? So it's been 45 minutes to get 30 litres of water to a rolling boil. Now that everything's running, uh, now that everything's up to temperature, it's running really clean. I'm not getting any of that horrible smoke. So guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.